Howdy ho, welcome back to another episode of Bemusing Bill, another Diana Ankudinova, and this song is called Burnt Out. Now this came out uh, very recently, I think it was said here one month ago, let me just kick a quick check. Yeah, one month ago and over a million views, and this is an official video it looks like, I'm not exactly sure the whole thing here but um i'm really excited to check this out i hope you guys are too i will have the link below in the box of course and if you'd like to support the channel those links are there as well including our patreon group of musicians and musical lovers as we explore more and more music on this channel um and if you join believe me my heart is filled with gratitude for you this is what really helps keeps the lights on here and of course, always like, share, subscribe. If you have already subscribed, check to see if you still are. YouTube is bouncing people off their sub lists for whatever reason. And it's not just my channel. It seems to be all channels across YouTube. So uh, if it doesn't hurt to give it a check to see if you are. And uh, if you weren't, well, smash that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button. That would be awesome too. That also helps support this channel as well. Uh, I'm going to pull up the the big page here and give this video a like right off the bat kids buckle up this is gonna be cool This is heavy. I mean, it's one thing to, to for the song itself. And let me tell you, the song itself is a banger. I like the groove on this song a lot. Uh, it's it's smooth and it's it flows really, really well. Her voice sounds magnificent. Uh, yeah. Man, in this video, I know everyone is thinking the same thing. So I won't even say it here about this dude, right? <laughs> yeah, so I won't even have to say it. You guys know it. But uh, that's a perfect shot right there. Bye-bye. Right? So uh, I think she's looking back on her memories, them, you know, when they were younger and, you know, biking in the woods and stuff. What's happened to them? I think that's what this is This is uh, going by this. But uh, not exactly sure yet. I'm going to go back a bit and see some of, some of this. And her in the white with the red rose definitely signifies something. <laughs> There you go. 
All right, I'm a little confused by the video. The red rose burning up. I'm assuming that rose being uh, representing love. She's in white, maybe representing innocence. Um, I'm not sure about finding the bottle. I'm not sure about that. And then looking around. It looks like there was something in the bottle. But it's really hard to tell. At first I thought, well, there was a message in the bottle. But it's hard to tell. It looks like something is growing inside. <clears throat> and she finds these two people out in the woods. See, I thought maybe it was that. But I guess, I guess that's how they used to be. And she finds them in the woods, still holding hands, still much in love. I mean, this guy invites another girl to come in the car with them. Good. I'm glad that she said, bye-bye. See ya, sucker. I am Diana. I don't need you. That's right. Yeah, that's some crap right there, right? Ashes. My feelings are burnt out. Or did I miss something in the beginning? I don't remember seeing a bottle in the beginning. Right, she comes out with the dog. And he seems to be <clears throat> more infatuated with the dog than her. Shows her at the river bank here. Yeah, yeah. Way more attention to the dog. She's, I guess, looking in the water. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that that reference is there, folks. Because I don't remember seeing a bottle with them when they were in the woods. In their young love. Right? Am I wrong? Am I right? So he goes like that. She's going down. See, that's strange because it shows that she kind of veered off the path and you saw like the wheel all. So it looks like she crashed, but I don't think it goes goes back to that I like that. Bye, bye, And her voice is just so sultry here. She's using all kinds of, of her voice. She doesn't go way too deep, but she's not going way up high either. But the range that she is in is really perfect for this type of a song, I think. And, and it makes those little lower parts and those little higher parts even more dramatic. So seeing them reminded her of her uh, <clears throat> when she was younger with the, or maybe their love had first blossomed, you know, with that guy in the car and how it, uh, they used to be. So she's kind of seeing back um, with remembrance and a little melancholy, I'm sure. <laughs>
So she just gives up on the relationship. You know what worries me? Well, not worries me, but you know what I mean? Um, saying I give up and stuff and to see a lady in white has always had that the, the, the legends of the lady in white everywhere, you know, on the side of the road um, to pick up a hitchhiker. You know what I'm talking about? The ghost stories. And so, you know, I'm wondering, like, has does that have anything to do with this? Is there some sort of underlying meaning? I don't I don't really think so. I'm just curious. I'm curious to see what you guys think. So hit me up in the comments and and we'll talk about uh, what you guys think is going on here. Um, as far as the song go, I think I, I, I love it. It's a banger. I hope she gets millions more views because it's wonderful. Her voice is so wonderful. That Until the next time, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And Uncle Bill here loves you guys. Peace.